After it was confirmed that ride-hailing and delivery firm Gojek will merge with e-commerce player Tokopedia, investors wanted to know if the combined entity GoTo will seek a public listing. There were hopes that GoTo could replicate the success of its peer, C, which is listed on the New York Stock Exchange. A listing is on the cards by year's end, but the shape and form it will take and where it will list is still very much in the air. While the company is considering listing in more than one location, I don't think we can say that it will necessarily be a dual listing because a dual listing implies that uh, the company will be listing in two different exchanges and two different geographies at the same time. It might be listing in one place first and then another place. Uh, where those listings might take place, uh, also we haven't decided uh, yet. If all goes well, GoTo will be the third Southeast Asian unicorn to IPO after arch rival Grab. Grab will be listing on NASDAQ in July via a SPAC deal valued at 39.6 billion US dollars. Reports say GoTo is aiming for a market valuation target similar to Grab's at between 35 billion and 40 billion US dollars. For the combined entity, we have to see, but uh, but, but for Gojek, uh, I think it's not exactly realistic because uh, because in Indonesia, um, their market share is more or less the same. I, th I think Grab leading slightly in food delivery, and on the other hand, Grab has uh, has leading position in other markets um, in food delivery, uh, etc. So um, so I think it's a bit unrealistic for for them to have the same valuation as Grab. Um, with that footprint, both in terms of product and geographical footprint would give them a slight advantage, but they will have their work cut out for them. And certainly across the region, Grab and Sea are making inroads in pretty much every country outside of Indonesia. So to really back up that valuation, they're not only going to have to conquer Indonesia, but many of these other countries as well. But venture capitalist John Kim, who holds a board observer seat on Tokopedia, is confident GoTo will achieve an attractive enough valuation. You don't really know till you get to market what your valuation is going to be. But what I can say is that the fundamentals are very, very strong uh, for both Gojek and Tokopedia. The combined entity GoTo, that narrative, um, it's, it's uh, really something that is going to knock the socks off public market investors. A lot depends on how investors will view the stock pre- and post-listing. When they go public, how much confidence does the public market have in them and how do they sustain that confidence? And here, GoTo has to work hard to convince them. In its main market, Indonesia, it is facing stiff competition from Grab in the ride-hailing and food delivery business. C has also muscled into the e-commerce and food delivery space in Indonesia by offering aggressive promotions. Observers say the merger of the two Indonesian players creates a complete digital economy ecosystem, covering verticals from ride-hailing to food delivery, logistics and e-commerce. This boosts the service proposition that GoTo can provide customers. You will have the very clear super app of Indonesia, uh, $22 billion of gross transaction volume going through the platforms that will be united. A lot of these businesses, they have network effects. And so the more users that you can bring together, the stronger the platform is and the more defensible it is against competitors. Still, M&A experts say any merger will take time to bear fruit as the companies look to integrate and deliver synergies. In the meantime, C, with its deep pockets, will be looking to gain market share in Indonesia. C can obviously afford to take some risks with its capital. Its very early access to the capital markets means that it's been able to develop new business verticals and scale new businesses very quickly. Any unprofitable businesses in C can be cross-subsidized by the, by, the, by the cash thrown off by Garena. It's very profitable um, gaming business. Indonesia may not be a profitable market yet, but it will remain a key battleground for all three players. A report by Google, Tomasic and Bain also forecasts that Southeast Asia's internet economy could swell to 300 billion US dollars by 2025. With a population of over 270 million and a rising middle class, Indonesia is the biggest market and also one of the fastest growing ones.
we believe that actually bringing uh, the next generation of Indonesians into the digital economy is actually something we're all on that same mission together. And the pie is so big and it's growing so fast that there's really room for all of us to play. Beyond Indonesia, GoTo will need to convince international investors that the group will be able to successfully execute an overseas strategy. Gojek has had limited success in the past of growing its business in the regional Southeast Asian markets. Tokopedia, on the other hand, has demonstrated no ambition previously of being anything other than an Indonesian e-commerce business. The billion dollar question here for Goto as well as its international um, funders when it eventually does go to market will be, well, what are your plans for expansion? How do you intend to articulate this expansion strategy? As the competition continues to play out among Southeast Asia's tech unicorns, financial services look set to be the next growth area. If you can bring together e-commerce along with other, all the other products and services, and again, you know, putting financial products on the back of that, like say lending or wealth management or insurance, it's a much more interesting value proposition for both merchants and consumers. C has said it will scale up fintech offerings in the region by venturing into insurance technology and wealth management. Grab has financial services spanning loans, insurance, payments and investments, all accessed through its mobile app. Observers say GoTo will need to come up with a fintech strategy too if it wants to stay relevant.